All right, everyone. So today I wanted to dive into one that's a little bit easier. Maybe it's not that complicated, but it's helpful to know kind of the right way to do this. And that is dealing with loose screws on your glasses. It can be a pain when that one temple hinge is always falling over. Obviously these aren't, but there is a certain amount of tension that should be on these so that they easily open and close without doing anything really weird or crazy or falling down all the time or slinging open all the time. And this can depend on the type of frame as well. So let's have some fun with it and see what we can do. So first of all, of course, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that subscribe and like button down below. We talk about all kinds of different tips for glasses care. We do a few reviews here and there, not as much these days, but hey, we have fun with it anyways. So I'd hope you support the channel and uh, let's get into what we're actually gonna talk about today. And that is actually setting the right tension on the screws for the hinges because you know, personally, it drives me crazy when I see a pair that comes in for work and it's either just way, way too tight and you can actually see the arm itself flex before it starts to open or close. And that's never good. Uh, it makes it hard to keep the frames in adjustment, but also does a lot of damage over the course of time in a bad, bad way. Uh, it's bad for the frame, it's bad for it staying in adjustment, and it's really bad for the hinges and the screw, particularly the five barrel hinges like these actually so there you go but let's take a quick look at the easy way to set that tension right and get it taken care of the right way so as far as doing this you don't need anything too crazy any small precision flathead in most cases occasionally a phillips head screwdriver will take care of doing the job i got this thing in a whole kit with a whole bunch of different tips on amazon uh, like 15 bucks or so so you know not the cheapest option in the world but i need pretty decent ones and this is actually my extra set so that's the one that stays at the house you can find these precision tools harbor freight walmart wherever really cheap or if you like really nice ones there's a lot of super nice ball bearing american made ones out there they'll read you 20 30 50 anything beyond that and then you need a pair of glasses with a loose screw and i actually don't have a pair of glasses with a loose screw so let's take care of that first now I have made this incredibly annoying and loose and it's exactly what we want. You'll see even as I pick it up, the darn thing won't even stay in place for that. The trick here is actually getting that tension set. As I mentioned, now of course you want your nice little flathead screwdriver to where it fits down easily in that slot. And we're gonna have a fun time trying to get this in focus, I can see. So you will take and actually get that on there if the camera will stay in focus long enough. Let's do, there we go. So line up your screwdriver, of course. I think we all know how to run a screwdriver. And what I find works really well to this is I actually back off about one, one and a half turns, and then make sure your screw's in the center and turn it back down right until it feels snug because what happens is that gives you a pretty good feel for the tension and then that actually didn't work good on that one because i'm trying to work with my only pair of glasses in the pair of hands and there we go now we can see still a little bit loose because apparently i am terrible at this today so we'll add just another quarter turn there. And one thing you'll see that I'm doing with my hands on these, I'm actually covering up the lens. And I don't know if you can tell that, so if I slip, it's going to cut my hand, which for me is probably not a good idea because I use my hands for all this stuff rather than scratch the lens. And, you know, screwdrivers are kind of sharp, so they're really good at scratching the lenses up. So you can also use, if you're not very confident in yourself, you can cover the lens in masking tape a couple times around. Ought to be plenty to do it. Now, 
you can see we've got that tension set pretty good on both sides nothing too crazy and you can feel this you want to compare both so they're pretty close and that's just kind of one of the things that makes it a little more luxurious but you can see we've got a pretty even amount of tension on both sides so now they close pretty evenly pretty easily and that one that was slinging open all over the place is now back where it belongs now here actually doing this video and this is kind of a cool trick for this if you are a hyperopic prescription, which means you can only see things far away, or presbyopic, which means you can't see things up close either, you wonderful little myopes with the minus prescription, you're nearsighted, you could do this in your sleep and see perfectly fine, and there is no problem. If you're not one of those people, you can cheat and use your phone and set it at a distance that works and zoom in on the phone to make it bigger enough that you can see it. Nifty little trick, right? Now I will say, and you can see it a little bit on this one actually, because as I mentioned, this is not my favorite screwdriver. The sizing was a little bit off on that screw head and you can see right there, I've cut just a hair into the screw head itself, which, you know, in this case, that's okay. It's not wonderful, but it's okay. Now, I've got my glasses back. They are back on my face. There is no more loose screw, which there wasn't to start with, but now we are back to that wonderful starting place of exactly how the glasses belong on my face so I can see you. And, you know, in this case, you can see me. And that is one thing I love about these glasses and lenses very very minimal reflections the ones that do come on don't show up very well that's another story for another day and it's actually a video i need to do here soon that i keep forgetting about because all these other ones are so much more fun uh yeah anyways it is what it is now another trick you'll really want to keep in mind for this if you have that perpetual screw that just always comes loose I swear it's common in cheap frames the cheaper the frame the more common it is because they don't size the screws properly the threads and the barrels mismatched they're not peened there's no nylon covering on the screws to keep them in place a lot of different reasons that happens just to cut costs of course because every dollar counts when you're trying to make things as cheap as you can and that's where that goes anyways so what you can do in that case you can actually take and paint it yourself and make a special little driver kind of like that screwdriver over there i showed you earlier they make a special tip for that you see it at the bottom hit it with a hammer boom done not going to back out not the easiest to take back out later but none of the solutions are so one i find that works really well is just very simply a drop of clear nail polish not on this side but on the bottom side where those threads actually are not the side you put the screwdriver in and as i mentioned it really helps to back that screwdriver or screw off just a hair sentences I probably shouldn't say. Back the screw off just a hair with that drop of nail polish on that bottom edge and then tighten it down like I showed you in the rest of the video because that is going to actually pull some of that polish into the threads on the barrels and then when you tighten it back down and seat it that's going to dry and harden there and that creates something sort of like Loctite but it's much easier to remove later if you need to. Say you need to replace a temple or whatever happens happens you broke one you didn't break one the screw gave out whatever whatever it is then easier to pull the screw out later to put a new one back in new hinge on whatever the case may be but that is something i consider to be pretty useful let's see what you think if this video helps you, definitely let me know down below. I know to some of us, replacing a screw sounds like the easiest thing ever, or setting the tension on it so that it works well is the easiest thing ever. But some of the things we think are the easiest thing ever aren't always. So hopefully this helps somebody. I'll catch you guys next time.